Hey everyone and welcome back to the China series. So after I was done with my first semester of teaching English in Chongqing, I flew back to Minnesota where I spent Christmas with my family. <laughs> and I decided I wanted to use the rest of my break to actually go and explore some of the famous locations around China. And I was super excited when one of my besties, Katie, decided to come and join me and actually travel to some of those places. And so, the first stop that we went to was China's capital, Beijing. Now before we dive into Beijing, I just wanted to quick say that if you are interested in going to China and you're not really familiar with the culture or the language, I would highly recommend getting a tour guide. I'm usually not one for tour guides myself, but having one honestly made a huge difference at just making it a better experience. It was just more informative, it was more fun, and it was just way more relaxed. So um, I've included a link down below to a really good tour company if you're interested, and make sure to go check it out. On our first day in Beijing, we decided to go check out the beautiful Summer Palace. The Summer Palace is located in the northwest part of Beijing and was built in 1750. It's a beautiful palace where the emperor would spend the summer with his family to escape the heat of the city. Katie and I arrived at the palace not knowing much about it, but we were completely blown away by just how beautiful it was. Our tour guide walked super fast, so we spent most of the time hurrying to catch up with him. He was full of good facts and shared some really fun stories with us, but we also had plenty of time to mess around like always. We were super lucky to go there on a day where there was basically no tourists. So we were able to walk around and see all the things very easily. We are about to go all the way to the top of the Summer Palace right now. So here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After the Summer Palace, we then went to go see a traditional tea ceremony. And then after that, we got my personal favorite, dumplings. Today, we can go to the old hutong. We could go to the old hutong. What is it? What is it? It's like an alleyway. What's it called? Wang Fujing Kaima. Huh? Wang Fujing Kaima. Wang Fujing. No. Okay. Yeah, I just did a successful taxi ride. I sat in the front and I did Tinglish, so Chinese, English, and Hanbo. She's a little hyperventilating. But yeah, we kind of understood each other. I said Happy New Year at the end and he smiled, which is really nice. And he didn't rip us off this time because last time we took a taxi, we got super ripped off. It was only $30. No, 30 yuan. 20, 30 yuan. 28 yuan actually now. Like, Versus $110. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, our shibakwai. Ma, and he's like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was just so cool. Okay, so we are currently walking down the one of the side gates to the Forbidden City. So. Everyone keeps telling us that it's closed, but we think from our tour guide that it is open. There's like a sneaky way to get in, so we got dropped off on the west gate, and we're heading towards the south gate. We're currently walking down this gorgeous street, yeah. and it's Chinese New Year's. It just It's the very first day of the Chinese New Year's, so there's seven days of it, and everything's very red and just gorgeous, and there's lots of people kind of strolling with their families right now, so hopefully we'll be able to get in. <laughs> yeah, Palace Museum, that's the sign next to us. Oh, so go in into okay. towards the building and along the river. Wait till what happens. <laughs> okay, so our tour guide keeps calling us. He says, "Call me when you get here," but then he calls us six times in between a walking distance. But anyways, the taxi driver pointed to the wrong way, so we accidentally walked all the way to the north side. We were supposed to be on the south side, so now we're walking back <laughs> to the south side and trying to get tickets. So we are now currently on the river side between the wall and the river, like you said. Hopefully, we'll we'll get in. I I have faith. Hey. There might, 
Can be a secure. Oh my god, look how many people there are. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh my okay. Oh my god. Wow, let's just take this in. Oh my god, oh Katie. I think it's official to say that we are definitely in China right now. <laughs> a little bit overwhelmed, but it's good. It's good. So, after two and a half hours of attempting to find tickets, we couldn't find any. <laughs> so, it was very overwhelming. <laughs> Message of the story, get your tickets online ahead of time so you don't do what happened to yeah. us. So now we're just gonna be strolling around. We got some three UN tickets to like go around the garden. So we're gonna enjoy that and get some food and just call it a good enough day. Cause it's still gorgeous out it's here. Very so. pretty. Good, we're in the bamboo forest thing in Zhongshan Park. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So after three and a half hours, we got in. We are finally, <laughs> it's finally in. It was so easy to get in, but for some reason it took forever. There's no so English here super at all. And everyone's lefts and rights were getting mixed up and it was and very my, confusing. I tried to use Chinese, they didn't understand me. So, and it but it doesn't matter up. because here we are. <laughs> we're here. Okay, <laughs> should we go tour? Yeah. Okay, it's time to go tour finally. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Okay, all the way up here at least to get there. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I. That right there is the most free harmony. And then the middle harmony. Down, I will keep on searching for my heights. We just finished our tour. Two thumbs up for sure. It was really cool. It was really cool. Yeah. Really a lot to take in. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, but 110% worth it. Three and a half. If you're hours. here, definitely go there. Yep, that was really good. <laughs>